So we're back with part four. We have all six of our panels laid out and checked all the seams to make sure that they line up properly and they do. So we're good at this point. Okay, there's just one more thing I wanted to point out real quick. If you run into a case of one of your panels not being as high as the other one or if it if you have a little bit of a lip and it's not level and flush all you need to do is take your sandpaper and run it back and forth real easy now when I say real easy you don't want to create a divot in between the two and you don't want if you're looking at it this way you don't want a dip in between the two panels you want to have it flush all the way across so how you accomplish that is just run it back and forth all the way down the line keeping it level if you were to do it say like this and just knock it off all it's going to do is round the edge off you want to keep it flush all the way across and if this thing doesn't focus I'm really going to lose my mind so you do it straight across and then you want to feather it back also you don't want to just do the one part you want to go further back so it stays level all the way across now comes the fun part uh, well it's all fun but this is the really fun part where we actually decide what stationary features we want to add to the board I have an idea of what I'm gonna add to mine uh, there's gonna be some corner hills uh, some hills on the side Oh, look nice trashy foam in the corner the wife's gonna love that um, so yeah back on topic here I've sketched out and by sketched I mean just ran over it with a pen where I'm gonna do some corner hills and yeah, nothing special you can ignore the lines in here this was done before I actually put the boards together focus you piece oh. Oh, I can't take it I just can't take it I gotta go buy a new camera um, yeah, so I'll come back in just a second once I've set up the hills on the board. <clears throat> they will be just rough cutouts. Um, I'll go back and finish them out later on. Um, but this is the point that you want to add anything stationary. So whenever we start filling in gaps and lines and um, actually seal the board, everything is already going to be glued down. So before I do any gluing or setting them up on the table I'll come back and record that but for now I'm just gonna put the hills on the table after they're cut okay so my hills are cut and I have them placed approximately where I'm going to keep them that could change um, for right now I kinda like the way that they're laid out a little bit of space in between on the board edges uh, nothing in the middle I have removable terrain that I'll be placing in there <clears throat> excuse me just depending on what situation what scenario uh, what I want to do with it um, these cracks in the earth will actually end up being lava cracks and I have uh, a kind of a unique method as to how I do that where you can still place models on the top of it and you won't have them tipping into it or falling into it that way if you want to play it as area terrain or dangerous terrain or impassable terrain you kinda of have that option uh... let's see what else i think that's about it for now until i get the hills carved and ready to be glued on as you can see on this one for example still has a real rough edge we'll have to go back and straighten that out before we glue it all down and we'll be adding a sealer on the edge actually all the way down the table to the bottom uh, and that will take care of you know any unsightly gaps that we have at this point but um, until we get to that point I will finish out the hills and be back as soon as it's time to glue them <laughs> 